Good evening. This is Lindley Cole from St. Luke's Episcopal Church. Thank you for joining me for Compline this evening. We will be reading from Psalm 68 verses 1 through 20 later and also the scripture reading is from Romans chapter 16 verses 17 through 27. You may follow along in the Book of Common Prayer, page 127, or if you do not have a copy, please just go to stlukesatlanta.org or bcponline.org, and you will follow the prompts and find a copy there. Let us begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let us turn to Psalm 68 on page 676. We will be reading verses 1 through 20. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. Let them vanish like smoke when the wind drives it away. As the wax melts at the fire, so let the wicked perish in the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. Let them also be merry and joyful. Sing to God, sing praises to his name. Exalt him who rides upon the heavens. Yahweh is his name. Rejoice before him. Father of orphans, defender of widows, God in his holy habitation. God gives the solitary a home and brings forth prisoners into freedom, but the rebels shall live in dry places. O God, when you went forth before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth shook, and the skies poured down rain at the presence of God, the God of Sinai, at the presence of God, the God of Israel. You sent a gracious rain, O God, upon your inheritance. You refreshed the land when it was weary. Your people found their home in it. In your goodness, O God, you have made provisions for the poor. The Lord gave the word, great was the company of women who bore the tidings. Kings with their armies are fleeing away. The women at home are dividing the spoils. Though you lingered among the sheepfolds, you shall be like a dove whose wings are covered with silver, whose feathers are like green gold. When the Almighty scattered kings, it was like snow falling in Zalman. O mighty mountain, O hill of Bashan, O rugged mountain, O hill of Bashan, why do you look with envy, O rugged mountain, at the hill which God chose for his resting place? Truly the Lord will dwell there forever. The chariots of God are twenty thousand, even thousands of thousands. 
the Lord comes in holiness from Sinai. You have gone up on high and led captivity captive. You have received gifts even from your enemies, that the Lord God might dwell among them. Blessed be the Lord day by day, the God of our salvation who bears our burdens. He is our God, the God of our salvation. God is the Lord by whom we escape death. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Romans. I appeal to you, brethren, to take note of those who create dissensions and difficulties in opposition to the doctrine which you have been taught avoid them for such persons do not serve our lord christ but their own appetites and by fear and flattering words they deceive the hearts of the simple-minded for while your obedience is known to all so that i rejoice over you i would have you wise as to what is good and guileless as to what is evil then the God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Timothy, my fellow worker, greets you. So do Lucius and Jason and Sosipater, my kinsmen. I, Tertius, the writer of this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, who is host to me, and to the whole church greets you. Erastus, the city treasurer, and our brother Quartus greet you. Now to him who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret for long ages, but is now disclosed and through the prophetic writings is made known to all nations, according to the command of the eternal God to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God be glory forevermore through Jesus Christ. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, support us all the day long until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed and the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then in thy mercy grant us a safe lodging and a holy rest and peace at the last. Amen. May the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Together, let us say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O oh God, you created all peoples in your image. We thank you for the wonderful diversity of races and cultures in this world. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred within which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love. Enrich our lives by ever-widening circles of fellowship and show us your presence in those who differ most from us until our knowledge of your love is made perfect in our love for all your children and in your good time enable us all to stand reconciled before you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us observe a moment of silence as you offer your intercessions and thanksgivings. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have set the, seen the Saviour, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord, Thanks be to God, the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and keep us. Amen. Thank you and good night.